now we are discussing about the annual ring formation in the treats this is most of the treats which present in the temperate region okay here in temperate region there is no uniform environmental or climatic condition throughout the year and on the cambium activity of the trees or dicotyledonous plants the two factors are influencing much more okay cambium activity influenced by two factors first is the physiological factors and second one is the environmental factors these two factors giving impact or influence on the cambial activity and cambium activity is responsible for the growth of that is secondary growth of the tree in this temperate region there are two seasons first is two seasons first is the winter uh, spring season that is when the much more amount of the rainfall can occur and second is the winter season okay the spring season in spring season the cambium activity is somehow much more okay spring season in spring season cambium is more active second thing when this cambium is more active along with that it can divide rapidly and giving the xylem gives xylem which having wider cavity vessels it means the vessels are the part of xylem tissue and these vessels are having a wider in their or you can understand it it having a more porosity wider pipes in that and due to this the sides it gives the wood which is less or lower dense and one more thing the appearance of this wood is light in appearance okay in winter season the thing is opposite to this the spring season is comes first in the year that's why the wood form in the spring season is called early wood or it's also called the spring wood spring wood and early wood is the same thing which is formed in lighter manner okay now we are focusing in case of the autumn wood okay or the late wood which is formed in the winter season now this is the winter season in winter season the wood formation what was in the spring season the cambium is more active here cambium less active second thing it gives xylem with narrow cavity due to the narrow cavity vessels in this xylem the xylem are the more dense because it having a less porosity more dense and the appearance or color is
more darker and the wood which formed due to this winter activity of the cambium are called the autumn wood or this is formed later on the spring wood that's why it is also called as a late wood here i am clearing you one point wood means not the wood which you be talking in general language here wood means the xylem wood is the scientific word used for the xylem xylem are the vascular tissues which is different from the phloem and xylem and phloem both are forming from the vascular cambium and vascular cambium is the part of lateral meristem and meristem are the stem cells of the plant as we have studied the annual ring formation in annual ring suppose this is the ts of the stem of the temperate regions dicotyledonous tree in that the first formed ring which was the ring of the early wood and this is the early wood which is having a this is the early wood early wood also called the spring wood this was the spring wood and the wood which was formed after this okay this is having a more dense and low porosity due to its xylem are having a vessels with narrow porosity this is the late or autumn wood here this is the center in every this is the two patches of the ring in one growth year in one year there are two patches first patch is the lighter which are of the early wood or spring wood and the wood which was formed in the winter which is called the late wood and autumn wood in early wood the porosity is much more that's why this part was the this part is the more and more porosity that's why it is lighter in color and this is less dense this part having a xylem with the narrow porosity or narrow cavities that's why this part giving a highly dense and darker in color this is the one annual ring in which two are the parts this is the early spring wood and this is the late autumn wood this is a one annual ring contains these two patches one is a lighter and second one is the darker the lighter one is at the center and the darker one is at the periphery the annual ring can help to measure the age of the plants okay it means when the age of the plants can be measured from this ring this is the one ring by measuring this number which is directly proportional to the years of the age of that plant this is not perfect measurement but one can assume or one can calculate the approximate age of the plant because these growth rings having some more drawbacks which we will be discuss later on this is not the part of our syllabus now we are discussing about the concept of hurt wood and sap wood this is the concept which is in the old trees trunk okay old tree trunk in that this is the ts of the stem and insidal part suppose this is the insidal part which is of the old tree trunk having a more deposition of the substances like the gums resins tannins aromatic substances oils and essential oils these substances are get deposited in this inner part of the stem 
and now due to this deposition this part of the stem become much more dense this become much more hard durable and resistant to the insect and many more microorganism now these parts is become much more hard that's why it can lost its proper function that is the conduction of the sap from root to the shoot now this part is not the useless now the tree is grower much more the tree is huge that's why now its function is to giving tree the mechanical support and the part of the tree trunk around this which is the secondary xylem part this is now conducting the sap and the initially the central part is now not conducting the sap that's why this is at the insidal part which is called the heartwood and the part of the this tree trunk which conducting the sap that is called the sap wood heartwood is located at the center which is having deposited these substances due to this this become much more harder durable as well as resistant for the insects and microorganism and this giving the mechanical support this is the concept of heartwood and sapwood